to show you now is how to make the dough by hand and using my unique technique of uh, really get a sticky mess into a beautiful, nice and soft pillow dough. So to start with, let me show you the ingredient. In here, we've got our strong bread flour in here. Fine sea salt, 20 gram. And then we've got 20 gram of fresh yeast in here. And I keep the yeast and the salt well apart until we start mixing everything together. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my yeast into my flour. Put the yeast with a bit of flour like that and push it together. And you see the fresh yeast become very crumbly, very, very quickly. Mix it together very quickly, no need to faff. Done. And then our fine sea salt together with the flour. Mix everything. Our water in here, so wet water, 720 gram, all in your flour in one go. Now, what we're going to do is to mix all those ingredients together, to band them together, what we call phrasage. So, your scraper, you start like so, one hand in here, and then we start mixing all the ingredients. Really blend them together. Try to keep your hand as clean as possible for as long as possible. And I bring all the ingredients from the bottom to the top. Really blend them really hard. And I find it easier with one foot forward, one back. So your, if you, your feet are side by side, you end up doing this and it's painful. So just that. After a couple of minutes, you can see it starts to look a bit drier. That's normal. It takes a bit of time for the flour and the water to work together. They will become sticky very quickly. So you can see my hands still dry in here. I'm working everything really well. Don't try to rush to take your dough on the table too quickly. Do as much work as you can in the bowl. Cut through the dough with your scraper. Work it well. You can see now, you have the sticky porridge. They sold together. So now I'm going to turn this onto the table. So no flour. No oil, nothing on the table. Tip the dough. Make sure your bowl is nice and clean. That dough will have to rest in there. So first, when you got that dough in the front of you, usually we panic. The first temptation is to add flour to this, or oil, or something like that. The brain is not conditioned to be, to be working with sticky dough. But I'm going to show you my way of doing it, and to show the dough's boss. So for the sticky porridge there, my hand's still clean by the way, this one. Take your scraper, the big side down, and gather it together. If it looks tidy on the table, it makes less work in your head. Now it's one big lump instead of a big mass on the table. So the next part now, what I've just done is what we call patronage, is tidy up the dough. The next part we're going to do now is to lift the dough off the table. And that's called découpage, lifting the dough off the table. So your two hands goes like that, one foot forward, one back, and you hold the dough on the lift, like so, and you pick it up. When it's there, you swing a little bit, you slap the tail 
and you stretch it and you fold it over the top. So lift it, slap it, and fold it. And the movement, the découpage, this is what we call passage en tête, passing the dough from one side to the other and slap it hard on the table. Then the étirage, stretching it and fold it over itself, the soufflage, adding air to the dough. And we carry on doing this. There and over. And over. So it always looks easy, but you've got to think of what you're doing before you put your hand into the dough. When your hand are in the dough, it's too late. You will go wrong. And you end up doing the wrong way around sometime, and you've got a sticky mess everywhere. If this happens, take your scraper, scrap again, and as I teach in my class, take your dough for a little walk. So move the dough from one side of the table and back again, the other way. This will, this will rescue all your dough all the time. Imagine skimming a stone on water. Skim the dough like so. And bring it back. And one of the lessons you got to learn when you mix your dough, the dough's got two sides. You got the top in here and the bottom underneath. The bottom is always more sticky than your top. The trick is to keep your top on the top all the time. It makes sense as we go. So when your dough is back together, then get your arms ready again. Hand in here, lift, swing, and over. Still having a foot forward and one back. Keep your hand in the same place, like so. So you're really stretching the dough. Don't be tempted to do this all the time. This, you don't stretch the dough enough sideways. Keep your hand in the same place and feel the dough changing as you do it. So the trick is really try to keep everything tidy. The more dough spread everywhere, the worse you get. So keep your hand together and very quickly, I can feel the dough getting stronger and stronger in my finger. You can see it starts to get much less sticky on the top. Still sticky underneath, but the dough needs to develop. So every four, five times, scrap. It's all about getting a nice rhythm. Don't wait until the dough is sticky everywhere before you scrap. Really stretch it. But you feel the magic. You feel when the dough starts to transform itself, you're in control of that dough. It's an amazing feeling. When you get used to the technique, if you want to get even more used to it and understand it more, try to look away. Don't look down when you do it, look away, and your body will take over the technique. As you do this, your body will feel the dough instead of being tight with your finger. Just look away and relax as you do it. And 
be patient. It takes practice. Good thing always takes practice. When you learn a new skill, it's not about rushing, it's to understand what you're doing. Every time you slap the door, something new happening. Feel the door. Feel the strength changing all the time. And work with the door. Look at this now. Start to get, I can see the air pockets. I can see the door really forming very quickly. You can see my hands still in the same place. What I'm working, I'm working with now is waiting for the door to pop off my hand, like an elastic. As the door gets stronger, it's like when mixing in a, in a mixing bowl. When the door's coming off the side, the side is my hand, so I wait for the door to really pop off from my hand and gain stronger and stronger. Now it's really changing every slap. I can feel it really getting stronger and not sticky. Keep your top on top and your bottom under. So don't do this. Keep your top. Now one side starts to come off my hand. I can feel it really popping off every time now. So we're nearly there. Quick scrap. And now the two sides coming off. can see how the dough is lighting up and the texture is getting stronger. Look at this, beautiful. When you master this technique, you'll be allowed to mix a much more big quantity of dough as well. It's, um, if you use your legs, your core, and really work with that dough, stretching it, there's no little, very little effort, really. Unlike if you had to knead the dough, it's much more painful. One more, and you're there. Here we go. So what I do now, I'm gonna give the dough quite a turn to reinforce the dough and make it stronger. By doing, lifting the dough, slap it, and turning my hand on the side. Ready to finish it off. Oops. The dough is getting smooth and smoother. So I would do a trick in my class. I always said, 
if you've done it for 20 minutes and the door still stick to your hand you got to do what we call the French shrug which is a, a funny way of uh, finish your dough is the French shrug is uh, like that oh, you do this it's quite funny when you do it at home just put your shoulder up and let the door roll off your hand it's quite good fun One shrug and another one. So my dough is done now. I just need to finish it off before I put it to rest in the bowl. At that stage, I bring a tiny bit of flour. Again, not too much, just a fine dusting like so. And I take my dough. The top is there. I turn it upside down on the flour. Tap it a bit and fold the dough corners in towards me all the time. And this give you a bit more strength before it goes to rest. And there you have a light, strong, elastic dough, full of air already. You can see it there. So I flour the bowl very lightly, no more than that, there's plenty. With a scraper, spin the dough and lift it up and to rest in here. And I cover it either with a cloth or a plastic bag, like so.